Kingsman, The Secret Service. When it came out in 2014, I went and checked it out at the theaters. I came out thinking that was crude, that was violent, that was over the top. That was friggin' amazing. Guys, I love that movie. It was a guilty pleasure. And whether or not you liked the movie or you didn't, you have to admit, there were some pretty amazing looks in that movie. So, with the new movie coming out, Kingsman The Golden Circle, let's revisit the looks of the Kingsman. In fact, today, I've got 10 tips, 10 style secrets you can steal from the Kingsman. Tip number one to steal from the Kingsman, gentlemen, own your image. Know what you stand for and then have the confidence to wear clothing that sends the message you want to send. So, if you're a student with aspirations to graduate number one in your class, dress like that student. If you're a young engineer, you're a young consultant, you're an up and coming doctor, you are a lawyer that's been in your practice for 30 years and has had great success. Dress to that part. Don't betray people's expectations. So, in the movie Kingsman, we see these guys going in and out of scenes. They are always dressed to the, I mean, they're dressed to the nines. They look good. Are they worried about being the best dressed man in the room? Are they worried about standing apart? No. When they walk in, when Harry Hart walks into a bar, what's he doing? He's going in there to kick some backside. I'm impressed with their ability throughout the movie, all the Kingsmen, to basically dress with confidence. Tip number two to steal from the Kingsmen, which I think they stole from me, is the style pyramid. Let's talk about fit. Let's talk about fabric. Let's talk about function. So, first off, talking about fit. All of the suits we see in the movie are of the English cut. Now, there are three types of suit cuts out there. In general, you're going to see the silhouette of the English, you're going to see the Italian silhouette, you're going to see the American silhouette. American silhouettes based off the sack suit, the Italian is going to be closer to the body, not really with any form, and then we're going to get to the English. Here we see a lot of structure in the suit. We're going to see built up shoulders, we're going to see a built up chest area in and around the waist. It's going to be very trim. Overall, this gives almost like a feeling of a suit of armor, but this is a very well crafted overall silhouette something that is very distinctive and when we see this, maybe we don't know what we're seeing, but it just feels British. Also, throughout the movie, all the actors on their clothing, whether it be casual or formal, we saw immaculate fits. We see high armholes. We also see it where you can always see a little bit of cuff. Those small details, the way that their trousers fit them, nothing was overly loose. Those details matter and so, the fit, they nailed it in the movie. Next up, let's talk about the fabric and the build quality of the items we see in the movie. So, when you're looking at the clothing, you're looking at the accessories, you're looking at the luxury goods in the movie, you notice they look really good. I mean, those shoes are beautiful. Why are they so nice? Because they're using a high-end leather. They take well to a polish with the clothing, with the suits. These are suits that are thousands of dollars. With that, you're getting a very nice fabric that has a great drape. You're going to see watches on there that are beautiful, that cost almost $20,000. Now, I know that's outside the budget of most people watching this channel. So, how can you get that? Well, you want to go in and you want to get an understanding of what the best is. So, go into the best luxury store in your area, check out the clothing, look at the jackets, look at the shoes, look at the watches. Start to learn more because this is what happens. Occasionally, when you're out there shopping, you're going to see a great deal. And when you see a great deal and you know it's a great deal, you can jump on it. Sometimes get something that would normally be, let's say, $3,000. Maybe it's on sale for $500. And that's what I think you can learn from the Kingsman is that there is, sometimes luxury is worth paying for. When you look at items that get passed on, you look at items that when you wear them, that you love them, items that you're going to wear again and again, especially if you work in this clothing, if this is your suit of armor, when you go into a business proposal trying to close a million dollar deal, this is something I think is worth the investment. Now, let's talk about function, which I have to say this movie maybe didn't do it super well. Maybe they ignored this part of my style pyramid because wearing a suit into a church fight, going and wearing a tuxedo when you're jumping out of an airplane, probably not the best clothing for that purpose, but hey, they made it work. Style tip number three to steal from the Kingsman, always make sure you take care of your hair. So, throughout the movie, what do we see? The classic business comb over. We see a nice part on all the Kingsmen. They understand this is a great style for them, sends the message they want to send. Looks like they're all using a pomade. Guys, these guys take care of their hair because at the end of the movie, what do we see? Eggsy has just battled over a hundred henchmen. He just battled the number two bad guy in a vicious fight. He took on the number one bad guy. He has saved the world. He's run into Princess Tildy with a smile on his face. You know why? Because he knows that every single hair on his head is in place. Style tip number four to steal from the Kingsman, the double-breasted suit. So, in this movie, it really worked. It's a very quintessential 
British type of suit and I loved how they actually did it right. So, let's look at this double breasted suit, six buttons. What we want to look for is the Y formation on the buttons. You don't want to ever buy a double breasted suit that's going to have the V formation. You're going to see this sometimes online. That is an abomination. Do not buy that. Also, we saw peak lapels. We saw the double vents on the back. We didn't see any ticket pockets and they used the right type of fabric. So, whoever did the design work for this movie did a great job. Now, am I saying that you need to bring in the double breasted suit? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm actually saying in this point is find a look that works for you. Something maybe that's a bit different. Something that makes it distinctive. It may be a fun pair of glasses because you work in a creative field. Maybe you decide that's going to be something that's going to help you stand out from the pack. Whatever it is, guys, make sure to own it and make it yours. Style detail number five to steal from the Kingsman the regimental striped tie. So, throughout the movie, you'll notice that the different characters, they're all wearing the same striped tie with the same colors. And I know the red, white and blue, us Americans like to think it's all ours, but we did steal it from our brothers and sisters over on the other side of the ocean. But what I love about this is that this, again, is something quintessential British. Uh, it used to be that the only neckties you could wear were ones that were represented with the military unit you had been a part of or what schools, universities you had gone to. In the United States, what we see is actually the stripe goes the opposite direction. That was actually introduced by Brooks Brothers. Uh, what you see right here on this one is one that, yes, follows the British type of lean, but it actually has a U.S. Navy background. So, this one I had special custom made. I have another one right here from the United States Marine Corps. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps, so for me, this had a special meaning. If you find something, hey, I was actually maybe in the Boy Scouts. I was part of the Peace Corps. You did something and you want to bring it into your wardrobe, why not? Style tip number six to steal from the Kingsman, pay attention to the small details. So, you'll notice on their jackets, what do they have? A simple presidential fold pocket square. This small detail on a jacket makes a huge difference. So, whenever you're getting dressed, whenever you're wearing your uniform, whether it be casual, whether it be something that's going to be more formal, pay attention to those small details. If you're going for a casual look, make sure that your shoes are well polished, are well put together. Yes, you may be wearing a type of just sneakers, but make sure they're the right type of sneakers. Maybe go for something that's going to be a little bit nicer, something that's really going to make that outfit pop. Speaking of footwear, gentlemen, let's talk about style tip number seven, the right shoe for the right job. So, you remember that part of the movie when Gazelle and Eggsy are running at each other. Gazelle, she's kind of hard to forget. She's that beautiful double amputee that has razors as legs and they're going at each other and what happens? Eggsy realizes that, hey, I've got the right shoes for the right job and all of a sudden that retractable poison blade, which probably most of us have in our shoes comes out and does its job. So, at the end of the day, gentlemen, I'm not going to say a dress shoe like this is perfect for what you went with the uniform that you have. It may be work shoes. It may be non-slip oil resistant shoes. For me, for what I do, oftentimes it is going to be a dress shoe, but I make sure that, hey, I pay attention and I invest in the right footwear. I advise you to look at good shoes and yes, you may cry once about the price, but after that, you're going to feel great and you're going to look good and guys, it's a huge confidence boost when you get your first pair of amazing fitted dress shoes. Style tip number eight to steal from the Kingsman, don't be afraid of wearing an extra ring. So, throughout the movie, we see actually all the Kingsmen have a signet ring and that's over on, worn on their right hand on the pinky finger. It's made of gold. It's got their little emblem on it and it's just a way of men picking up who are part of the club. Now, you see this also with engineers up in Canada. You see this with those that are part of a Mason's Lodge. We see this with guys that have graduated from certain universities, maybe uh, from Annapolis or from Texas A&M. At the end of the day, get comfortable with jewelry, whether it be necklaces, whether it be bracelets. I'm not saying that you need to wear a lot, but I am saying be open and if it's something maybe that's been passed down in your family, something that has meaning to you, don't be afraid to wear it. Style tip number nine, the steal from the Kingsman, don't be afraid to invest in the right accessory. Maybe it's going to be a particular watch. Maybe it's going to be cufflinks. Maybe it's going to be a particular bag that you're going to use every single day and it's going to, as it ages, it's going to look better and better with time. One of my favorite accessories in the Kingsman is the umbrella. Again, this is a very British, I thought this was a great accessory because if you've spent time in London, you know it rains a lot. Now, I don't know where they're getting those umbrellas that protect you from bullets and actually send off shock waves. Those are pretty darn cool. The point is, gentlemen, don't be afraid to save up and spend good money on an accessory that's functional, one that you use a lot, one that you want to give meaning to, one maybe you want to pass down and one that, yeah, 
may make you cry when you go out there and you spend the money, but when you have it, when you use it, you're really going to appreciate it. Style tip number 10, the steal from the Kingsman. Gentlemen, I want to hear from you. Down in the comments, let me know. What else should I have added to this video? What would you have liked to have seen? With the movie coming out, if any of you guys have seen it, uh, maybe I should talk about some of the Statesmen, some of their style. I think that's some pretty cool stuff there. But if you go look at the first movie, maybe there was something that you just saw in that movie. You're like, Antonio, I don't think anyone else saw this. Let me know down in the comments. I appreciate you guys going down there and just putting in great stuff. I appreciate you sharing these videos, passing them around to other men who may find this entertaining, who will use this to go check out my other videos on how to tie a half Windsor knot. This is not a full Windsor. How to actually wear a pocket square. How to actually uh, get a suit adjusted to fit you better. These are the things, hopefully, when I put out these fun videos that men find so that they can dress in a manner that sends the message they want to send. Gentlemen, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.